Hi, so today we are going to talk about a fragrance that you would think it's niche, but it's actually super easy to find, and you think it'd be expensive, but I think it's actually very, very reasonably priced, and we are talking about Gucci Memoir Du No Dur. Right there, this is a scent that's not new. It was launched in 2019. I purchased it about six months ago and I just love it so much and I thought I would recommend it to you guys because like I said it's very very easy to find and I know some of you guys are points collectors so it's available at a lot of places that offer points so Sephora being one of those places and then if you're in Canada Shoppers Drug Mart being another um, you can get this at many department stores some drug stores, and of course, like I said, Sephora. So very, very easy to find, but a pretty unique scent from a very, very big brand. Um, and I don't think that there's a dupe of this. I don't think it smells like very many other things that are out there, and that's why I say that it's kind of niche. Like, it kind of really smells like a niche scent, but it's not niche at all because it's master distribution. Okay, so notes in Gucci. Memoir Du No Dur are chamomile in the opening, and I can still smell that. So if you have had chamomile tea, which is pretty easy to find, you can get it at any grocery store. Um, this, the opening of this really smells like chamomile tea. It really smells like wet chamomile flowers. And then the middle kind of, it moves into jasmine and musk and then the dry down is a woody sandalwood cedar and then a little touch of vanilla but vanilla is not that present so it's not very gourmand it's not at all desserty i would say the dry down of this is absolutely a woody dry down so this i think is so interesting because i wouldn't know that this was a gucci scent i think that this smells more like a Jo Malone or a Diptyque because of how light and fresh this fragrance is. And because of the fact that it's not really a true floral, like it it really reminds me of a wet, um, just wet earthy garden more than, you know, um, just Jasmine or Tuberose, which is Gucci Bloom or Gucci Flora, which is really, really floral. This really just is kind of the leaves and the greenery that's in a garden, not necessarily one single floral that's in the garden. And I think that's because of the chamomile. I think chamomile really keeps things very herbaceous instead of being very floral. Chamomile is not really a flower that we associate with bouquets and with gardens and with springtime. It's something that's you know more calming and more of a um a balm on your bodies because when you consume chamomile you know you're supposed to feel very calm it's supposed to be really really good for your digestion and different parts of your body so i think of chamomile as almost medicinal instead of being just decorative which a lot of flowers are um and a lot of flowers you buy them because they smell good chamomile you buy because it's supposed to be good for you and you really want to consume it internally um so i think that like the chamomile note really keeps this from becoming too boring and to floral um, and keeps it in that herbaceous kind of family, which is really interesting. And it's not something that you would expect Gucci to do, but um, they've done it. That's what this is. And you can get this fragrance, like I said, you can get it everywhere, but it was launched in 2019. So it's not exactly that old, um, but it's not new either. It's been around for quite a while. Um, it's not very strong, it's not super, super long lasting, so you can spray this at the beginning of the day and then spray it again in the middle of the day or move on to something else, something that captures your fancy a little bit more. And I kind of like that. I like that it's not, um, the smell isn't binding. You're not stuck with it forever because you might not want to smell like chamomile and jasmine for your whole entire day. You might just want to smell it for a little bit of time. And then if you wanna smell it again, you can reapply. 
Um, the other thing that's great about this, like I said, this is pretty affordable, definitely more affordable than a Diptyque or a Jo Malone. This is a 40 ml size and it was $92. Again, if you're shopping the sales or collecting points, you can easily get this for at least 10%, 15% off. Um, the larger size, there's a 100 ml, that is $148. There's also a 60 ml size and um, there's a 10 ml roller ball. So I personally hate roller balls. I'll never buy a roller ball ever again if I can help it. Um, but if you don't mind them, then that is a great way to explore the scent. I first found out about it because um, it was included in a purchase and I got a little sample of it, ran out of the sample right away and knew that I had to purchase this again. And I'm so happy that I did. I mean, the packaging itself is gorgeous. So this is a green glass bottle and this, this is a metallic top and it's magnetic. Um, and then you can see there's a gorgeous gold spray and gold detailing and even the box that this came in was the same aqua kind of color and it had golden stars on it and it was just absolutely beautiful i think in any size this is a great bottle i would love to have a larger size on my vanity um, and a small size looks so beautiful pulling out of a handbag or sitting on your desk if you were going to reapply it i think it just looks so great so that's my pick. I think this is a great spring fragrance because it smells so earthy and it's so um, woodsy at the same time. And I think you can layer this really well with other fragrances that are a little bit darker because it's so light and so fresh um, and really soft. So soft, calming. I think this would be great for almost anybody. I think if you don't like to smell how everybody else smells and you consider yourself someone that likes more unique fragrances, I think this is definitely for you. If you didn't like any of the other Gucci fragrances like Gucci Guilty or Bloom, which I mentioned before, um, I think this would also be for you because this is not um, very typical of Gucci and it's not very typical of really any uh, mainstream designer scents like Gucci is a designer so this would be considered a designer scent I think designer scents aren't usually this um, out of the box I think this is really something that is like I said in the vein of Diptyque and Jo Malone it's very light and fresh but if you don't want to go in a Diptyque Jo Malone direction, then you can get something like this. I actually think the packaging is so beautiful, so much nicer than a Diptyque or Jo Malone. Um, yeah, just, just gorgeous in its packaging, really luxe and um, beautiful. And really, I don't have anything in my collection that looks as gorgeous as this and that smells as nice as this. So if this was a diptyque, I think, you know, you could easily pay $100 or $90 for 10 ml. But instead, this is a 40 ml and it was almost $90. But I did get a sale on it. So I was happy about that. Um, that's my review. Nice and short and quick. And... You know, if you're looking for something for, the sun keeps coming in and out here. If you're looking for something for the spring and you want something that's not as dark and as heavy as maybe some of the other scents that you have, and definitely all the other ones that I've reviewed have been pretty um, heavy, um, then this would be a good option. I think this is a great option for spring and summer, and especially summer if you're out and about and you want to reapply, I think this is a great one for freshening up. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.